Welcome back to Koshy's Business Builders with my co-host, Taryn Williams, this episode. And boy, has Taryn got some great advice for you because a recent report by Accenture found social selling. Selling your products by social media is expected to grow three times as fast as traditional e-commerce over the next three years, expected to generate $1.2 trillion in sales by 2025. Now, this trend is being driven by Gen Z and millennial social media users who account for 62% of global social sales. Plus, two-thirds of social media users say they've made a purchase on social in the past 12 months. Now, Taryn, a lot of businesses have only just wrap their head around e-commerce. Now we're talking about social selling. How hard is it to set them up with, with products to sell on social? So if we're thinking about finding the right influencer in your, for your brand and how to set them up for social selling, think about who would be that key opinion leader, that trusted voice of authority, if you were trying to find the right person to speak to your brand. So then you can just simply sit down and go, okay, who is that key advocate? How would I find the right person for my brand? And it might be someone really niche, like a vegan mummy food blogger on the northern beaches if you're a vegan food cafe there. Or it might be someone more macro with a, with a bigger media profile. But once you find that person, it's just about empowering them with the tools for success. What these influencers are, they're like little mini media production houses. So trust that they're experts in the space. Go to them with a brief and say, look, this is a bit about our brand. These are our values. This is the product that we're trying to sell. Could you give us some advice and recommendations on how you think you could sell this product for us on our path? Right. Where do you find them? <laughs> and, they're, and they're a lot, aren't they? There's lots of different platforms. Obviously, I would say The Right Fit and yeah. Hash Gifted are great places to find social media influencers. And then it's about working out, looking at the really important things. So where are their audience base? So for example, if you're an Australian brand that only sells in Australia, you'd want to be making sure that not only is your influencer based in Australia, but their audience is based in Australia. Then looking at their age and gender breakdowns, um, their follower growth over time, and what sort of content they've made in the past and brands they've worked with in the past because you don't want to engage with someone who's potentially just worked with a competitor business. So that wouldn't right. feel very authentic for your brand. Give me, out of your experience, an example of a small business that's used the right influencer and the results that both have got. Oh, there's some fantastic examples. So we work with some beauty brands who have done phenomenal campaigns in this space. So what they've done is they've found people who really speak to the different core demographics of their products. So they have a number of different products that appeal to a more mature audience. And for that campaign, they executed on Facebook because they knew that target audience wasn't as active on Instagram as and on TikTok. So they created a Facebook campaign that really spoke to that audience that showcased not just the visual, um, I guess, drivers of the product, but also had long form content to go with that. Then on TikTok, they knew that they were trying to re reach a new audience, a much younger audience Audience that wanted a different type of content. So with those um, influencers, they engaged them to make much more fun, engaging, young, dynamic kind of content that appealed to a very different subset. And what they were looking for was not only top tier um, content to be created that they could use for retargeting campaigns, but of course they were looking for conversions. So, so they were looking for the call to action to be to come to the website, to look at a particular product, then they gave each of those influencers a coupon code that they could track over time. So they could actually measure how many of those influencers drove sales. Taryn, thank you for that 